Hello and welcome to my new English video. It's been a while since I made my last video in English and frankly I did not plan on making another flat earth video but uh, several months ago I had the chance to go to the North Sea and the extreme chance of having a splendid view and I could not resist and I must show you what I filmed. It's a very small video. It's called Earth Curvature viewed from the island Hallighoge in North Friesland. At first we must take a look at the word Hallig because this is a kind of island which is unknown in other parts of the world because there are actually only 10 of these islands in the world and all 10 of them are in North Friesland. These islands are very flat and as a matter of fact they are so flat that they are several times a year under water. For that reason the houses are built on small artificial hills which are called Warften and uh, which have an altitude of about round about five meters. And this is very convenient because all of these artificial hills have approximately the same height. This will be important for the photos and the little video I made. But let's have a look. So this is the photo. I called it digging wind wheels because if you look at these wind wheels, they should be underground, at least partially, because everyone knows these wind wheels are at least 80 meters high. And I just told you I am on one of these islands at five meters. This is the neighboring island. Behind we have the continent. And this is my altitude, the level of my eyes. And in addition to that, the camera was on the fence post. So in reality, this line should even be a little bit higher. But you can all see clearly that the hubs of these wind wheels are below the straight line between me and the red line. So they are below this level of five meters. That's difficult to work. Of course, there are those who say that this is due to perspective, but how does perspective work on a plane? Sure, things that are higher than I, they will seem lower the further they get away. But how low do they sink? They sink maximum to the eyesight. If they are infinitely far away, they sink nearly to my eyesight, which is not the case on the photo. They are lower. And the bases of these wind wheels should be higher, higher than the level of the sea which isn't the case either. And both will never exceed this red circle, this level of my eyes. I'll show you once more this photo, which makes it clear that perspective isn't the explanation. And now I will show you the small video I took that day. I apologize, it is really short, but there were students right before and right after who asked me something and I had to cut this. Now, for those of you who are interested where these wind wheels are and where I was, I will give you the exact coordinates. This is my position on Hallighoge. Altitude, as I said, 
about five meters. This wind wheel is in Denmark at 43.88 kilometers, a little over 27 miles. I'm sorry, I forgot to change the comma into a point at the 43.88 kilometers. This one is in Germany, right on this side of the frontier. The SH stands for Schleswig-Holstein, the Bundesland, so the state of Germany where we are in. And if you look closely, you see that the Danish wind wheels have no markings, while the German wind wheels have these red markings. This will help you if you want to check them out on Google Maps. In this video, there are five more wind wheels. They are sometimes quite difficult to see, I admit that. And for that reason, I will show the little video once more at the end. And now let's take a look at these other wind wheels here. This is in Denmark, in Germany, in Germany. This one in Denmark is really hard to see. And this one in Germany as well. And of course, the level of my eyesight once more, where you can clearly see that all the hubs are below it. These are the seven wind wheels you could see from my position that day. I was very lucky. I tried this several days after and it never worked again because the view wasn't as good. Well, so much for my new video. I hope you liked the footage. And here once more, the small clip. Bye bye. Ja, du kommst nicht kämpfer, du.